Today, I'm going to show you how to get started with creating your first AI persona on our platform. Um, so assuming you already have an account with us and you can sign in, basically uh, this one right here is our sandbox account. This account we use internally for testing purposes. So for the purpose of this video, um, I'm going to create a new persona on this account. Uh, this section right here where it's kind of like a blank uh, plus button that you can click on. So we do have template presets for starting personas, um, which is kind of a little bit of a different process, but for the purpose of showing the persona settings on our platform, um, I'm just going to head and select create new. So when I click on that, I can come into these um, uh, training spaces and AI configuration settings where I can change my AI photo uh, as well as the identity of the AI. So <clears throat> this is an important um, aspect of selecting the, the personas and creating these templates is when you select one of these, you're basically uh, telling how you want your AI to respond. And the AI identity is an intricate part of how these AIs basically relay their knowledge to us as human beings when we're talking to them. Um, these are used sort of as metadata that goes back with our prompts. And when we get uh, responses from the AIs, the AI will respond in the way that we want it to, and we can select that here. So if I select custom, for example, um, the custom directive window that pops up down here is somewhere where I can freely type what's called a system prompt into this window that basically tells my AI how I want it to respond. So in this, so now I come to the memory types page and here you can kind of see all of the options for different things that you can upload to your persona. So here, so, you know, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to click on the files button so we can uh, move forward. Depending on what memory type I click on, all of those things will appear on this window. So if I had chosen, you know, URL and note and stuff like that, they'll all appear here. Um, and this is where I can input my data. So, you know, if I wanted to, um, you know, upload a link here, I can paste the link in here and add the title. I can also select files from my computer here. And I can also type notes in here this way. Next. So then when you're on the training tab and you click train, AI will start training on all the data that you've uploaded. Now you can click continue. So now your AI is ready for messaging. The following is just for getting started. Um, I have, I'll make a different video on the publish page. I'll click out of here. That my persona was made here. Uh, if I want to click on messaging, I can click on messaging and message the persona directly here. If I want to go back into those configuration settings, I can click on that gear icon there and go back in and um, edit things however I want. If you need to change the custom directive or change um, file types and different things like that. If I want to upload to that persona, then usually the most efficient way would be either through the documents page, which now you can see that my persona is appearing here. Or you can do it through the messaging. Um, part of our platform. So if you click on this plus button next to the search sign, you can go through and hook up in integrations, uh, as well as all of the other methods of upload that we have there. So one of the new features that we just recently added to our platform is the AI tool section. And when I click on this, I'll be brought to this page where you can see these different chats with uh, the large language models. So these are actually um, direct messaging rooms that you can go into to message these large language models directly. So these are four different large language models you can actually talk to freely on our platform now um, instead of, you know, navigating outside of outside of the AI. So now you have full access to these three um, or four large language models. When I click on the, the PLM section, which stands for personal language models, here I can access different tools that have been trained by some of uh, personal AI's very own in-house training, training experts that uh, put together these personas for us. Um, first one right here is the prompt craft persona. So this one actually is a persona that was trained directly on different prompt engineering methods, um, 
and different, you know, methods for creating small language models on our platform, um, as well as, you know, improving whatever prompts that it is that you have that you're trying to, you know, make better. So um, you can kind of see here, someone asked how, how to create a prompt with the aim of generating a response that creates high level software development request template. So the prompt improver came back with, you know, the best version of how to ask an AI to achieve this sort of task that we're trying to achieve, right? Um, so that's one good use for the prompt craft persona. And here we have the persona creator. So this one is specifically trained on um, how to create small, small language models, how to use custom directives, um, how small languages work in the sense of, you know, depending on what kinds of data you put into them and um, you know, where to start working on, where to start training, uh, everything you need to know about creating these um, personas can be found uh, in these public channels. The training questions, so you can think of this as, you know, um, instead of using product docs, you can actually come in here and ask about feature requests because um, we have the AI in here that's trained on all of our product docs. And then code with AI is a persona that's uh, trained on different coding methods and how to create programs um, and all sorts of different all sorts of different coding languages. Um, so you can actually jump into the code with AI persona and ask questions about how to write certain code, how to correct code, how to find bugs, um, all sorts of things like that. So those are the new AI tools on our platform and those will be extremely helpful to you in creating the uh, AI personas on your account. Um, everything that you need to know, any questions that you have can be asked in these uh, personal language models.